After two months without club action, Football Club Barcelona get their pre-season underway in earnest. They do so with a big game at the Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Florida, with some delay due to adverse uh, weather conditions, something fairly typical of these pre-season friendlies in Orlando. They take on Manchester City with uh, Pep Guardiola, the legendary Barcelona player and manager at the helm. It's one of the big fixtures in European football. There are some slight changes, some players unavailable for both sides, but set to be an entertaining encounter and a great test for the Blaugrana ahead of the La Liga season, which gets underway for them on the week of the 12th of August. There we see some of the stars on display. A couple of players who were not in action in Euro 2024, Erling Haaland and Jack Grealish for Manchester City. Barca without their Spanish players from uh, Euro 2024, also without uh, a series of players who uh, are away with the Spain Olympic squad. There we see some of the uh, uh, scenery in the background looks slightly overcast as well in Orlando for this game between Barcelona and Manchester City. Starting lineups to come for you. Beginning, of course, with Barca. Hansi Flick's first test in charge. It is going to be intriguing to see uh, how he sets his side up, even without some of the first team regulars. Greetings between the two players. They've had plenty of time to get acquainted with uh, one another in this delay ahead of kickoff. It's been uh, a relaxed summer for that man, Erling Haaland. Uh, Manchester City have had a couple of friendlies ahead of this one. And this is the Barca starting 11. And Yaki Peña in goal. Dominguez and Langlet in the middle. Martin and Fort either side. Casado and Bernal. That double pivot with Victor and Araujo either side of Pablo Torre and Vitor Hoque. It's a 4 2 3 1 formation from the new head coach, Hansi Flick. And uh, an interesting lineup. Uh, needs must as well, with uh, some positions being covered by players who come up from Barca. Athletic Manchester City lineup for you. Edison in goal. Much speculation about his future. Guardiola and Phillips in the middle. Wilson Esbrand and Lewis either side with O'Reilly and Kovacic ahead of them. Grealish, Oscar Bob, McAtee and Haaland complete the first 11 chosen by Pep Guardiola. I'm Doug Bishop joined by Spencer Siegel for this one. The wait is over. We finally get the chance to see... Uh, some sort of uh, Barca lineup, albeit without uh, some of the first team regulars. First game in charge for Hansi Flick. Yeah, the season is here. We've been waiting not as long as we normally had to wait because we had plenty of Euro action throughout the summer, but we know what these players have been up to. A lot of them trying to recover. Some of them have had to play throughout the summer. So the first thing that we get to see is not only a look at what the new squad may end up looking like and the form and shape of its of the tactics and formations that Hansi Flick wants to implement into this team but hey even the new kits too we get to see them for the first time in action which for me you can't judge a kit until we get to see it out there looks pretty good to me I'm excited to see a lot of these young players in action Victor Rock specifically we see him number 17 there he's a player that has a lot of unanswered questions for many Barca fans mostly because he didn't get the opportunities that we thought he was going to get once he arrived in January well there is uh, Pep Guardiola he and Hansi Flick the only two coaches to have won six trophies in a single season there is Hansi Flick the new incumbent in the Barca dugout with the departure of Xavi Hernandez. He's come in with a point to prove, looking to steady the Barca ship and looking to get the side competitive in 2024-2025. This uh, will be almost an ideal test for his men. Quality players up against the Blaugrana in that fetching new strip. Barca will be going from right to left in the first half here in Orlando, Florida. We get things underway. First chance to see uh, Hansi Flick's side in action. Manchester City, of course, uh, Premier League champions once again eliminated uh, 
in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Wants to get aside and are tipped to be favourites for all competitions. They've not ruled out some transfer movement as well uh, over the summer. At the moment, though, it's been a quiet few months for Manchester City. Back to Marte, trying to get it upfield to Mark Casado. Second pre season tour in a row with the first team for Mark Casado. Lots of fans very excited about uh, his future, and it's a good chance, uh, Spencer, for him to, to show his stuff in pre season. Yeah, I think there's a, a chance for a lot of players to get their opportunities now because. We know that there are so many who are either out or uh, either resting or getting their chance to play, for example, for the uh, under-23 side at the Olympics. So when you get your opportunities now, even if you only have 45 minutes to do so, this is really a, a chance to take it because with a new regime at the helm, this is your chance to say, okay, they're working with a clean slate. So who knows who actually gets the playing time moving forward? Well, we've had some modifications in the Manchester City line. Calvin Phillips playing as uh, a centre-back today. Intriguing inclusion, he was very much out of favour with Pep Guardiola the last two seasons. Went out on loan to West Ham United last term. Normally plays in the double pivot role as a understudy to Rodri. Whether he's slotted into the defence today. Uh, Pep Guardiola has been known to play uh, centre backs in the midfield and vice versa. They talk about a player in, in Rodri who has his position, just doesn't want to give it up. Uh, we have been sort of speculating this year who's going to win the Ballon d'Or. Uh, there aren't as many clear cut options as we've had in the past. He's the favorite to me at this point, no? I mean, he, he wins the Euros with Spain. He wins the Premier League with Manchester City. And he's the unsung hero of all of it, really. Not here today, of course, because he too needs some time to recover. Audrey, one of those players who featured uh, for Spain in their winning side in Euro 2024. City play a, a similar kind of style to Barcelona, maybe a little bit more dynamic uh, as of late. And this one is sent down the line, one to chase after. And it's cut back to uh, Iñaki Peña, big summer for him as well. Always speculation about the future of uh, Iñaki Peña. Finally got that extended run in the first team last season with the injury to Marc Andre Ter Stegen. How long will he be happy uh, playing second fiddle to the German? We'll get uh, runs out in the cup competitions, of course. I imagine Mackenreuth has taken by one of the best in the world, if not the best goalkeeper in the world. That's his position pretty much locked down. Short pass from Calvin Phillips here to Manchester City. Number 75, O'Reilly, a player who's come up from the B team. Here comes a right-footed shot, which is closed down by Barca. This is a really good first test for them, especially for Hansi Flick, to see what his team is capable of tactically. You saw right there a, a quick giveaway because the first instinct typically when you regain possession, as we've seen for years with Barca, is go backwards first to re-establish some, some equilibrium. And as soon as they did that, City pounced right on top of them because that's what they do. Their high pressure wins the ball back. So they're not going to be able to revert to the easy option. And I know it's just the first game, and we know that that man has a lot of ideas in his head, and he's provided them to both teams throughout his illustrious coaching career. Well, renowned for causing, uh, for springing a few surprises, Pep Guardiola in uh, the playing style for his side. He doesn't seem to have overthought things uh, for this to get the team to get up for fitness. And this low shot goes wide. First effort across the bowels from Manchester City. No need for Iñaki Peña to intervene. There's a cut onto the right foot. Low strike here. It all started from that long ball from Calvin Phillips. 
controlled here. Jack Grealish shimmying inside. The low shot from him outside the left post. And he's one player who is going to be fighting for his place in the squad this year, Grealish. This ball cut through and it's uh, not quite into the path of the uh, Barca forward. And looking to find Paul Victor. Didn't quite get his step correct to bring that under control. I'd say the first couple of times we've seen the ball head out in his direction, Grealish out on the left. He's looked sprightly, which is something that we haven't said as much in the last two years, three years since he's arrived from Aston Villa. The thing about Jack Grealish is if you have somebody pushing him, which in this case this year, Savio, a player that Barca know pretty well from a season ago, that'll be an interesting case for him. Manchester City trying to make their way into the box. Barca get it half clear at least with Manchester City side though. Relentless in possession. It will be a good test defensively today for uh, Barca as well. Not one of the cases in which uh, they go up against maybe lower opposition and fill their boots, getting the striking mechanisms together and, and pretty much nothing else. There will be shots to contend with. And there is the second effort of the game. Another cut inside, another right-footed drive. Looks as if it was uh, a greenish again after Oscar Bob squared it up. Comes over to the left-hand side. Jack Greenish facing some stiff competition with uh, Jeremy Doku and uh, Phil Foden favoured in those positions. I think the Barca player looks like he was fouled. The referee tells Vitor Jorge to get back up. Big summer for the Brazilian as he tries to play his way into contention. He was brought in as a player for the future for Barca, but uh, that's we're already speculating about There's some big doubts. Here comes Erling Haaland. And it's come back out to Oscar Bob on the right-hand side. The two Norwegians might combine and it's squared back. Good defensive work from Barca to get that clear inside the six-yard box. After letting Haaland and Bob through. Well rectified by the Blaugrana. Struggling to keep possession. That's back from Oscar Bob and to uh, Rico Lewis. That's absolutely a case of it being the first preseason game for Barca. And we, we we don't have to know that it's the first preseason game to know what they're what, what they're going to look like, which is typically a little bit sloppier on the ball, a little bit more clumsy and and less forward thinking than we're used to seeing, and that's normal. And City have already played two games, so they're going to feel a little bit more into this game in the first 15 minutes than Barca. Two unsuccessful games. They suffered defeat in their opening uh, friendlies. Try and get things going. And that uh, deflected shot goes out for the first corner of the game. Here's another look at that. Half chance for Haaland. He couldn't bring the ball under control. Let's see who the Barca player was who cleared that away. Well... We may never know. It was a rapid-fire movement as Barca defended their lines inside the area. Here's Bob. Well, this is the breakout campaign, campaign for him. A couple of terrific goals in the Premier League. Making an impact in the Champions League as well. Another shuffle in from Grealish. He's picked out a good pass there. And Yaki Peña, again, doesn't need to make the save. Haaland to Rico Lewis. Should be forced back as Barca to keep up uh, the pressure on them towards the halfway line. They'll be waiting to release Pau Victor as well. Pau Victor, 20 goals for Barca Athletic last season. Part of the first uh, team training camp and summer tour. Meanwhile, Barca Athletic, we saw them late yesterday evening against uh, La Scala, losing a 1-0 under interim coach Olaf Sanchez after the departure of Rafa Marquez. Still a lot to be finalised with the Barca B team. Like with the first team, and this is well left to run through by Pablo Torre. 
gets the momentum going. That ball will come in early and Edison is out quickly. Never averse to striding off his line, the Brazilian goalkeeper. Dives at the feet of, it looked like Pau Victor. That's good goalkeeping for Ederson to come out in that moment, but I have to say that's the second movement in the first 10 minutes from Pablo Torre that I've seen that I really liked. He had a nice, ingenious back flick early. Hold on now. Here's Oscar Bob. Got past Gerard Martin, plays it to the back post. Looks as if it may have crept its way in there. It was Erling Haaland meeting that. Iñaki Peña got something onto the ball. And we'll see from the replay whether that went in. It's uh, largely inconsequential. No goal line technology in La Liga. No goal line technology in these friendlies. But it sure looked like it went into me. It's the effort at the other end. And after that, just beat him for pace. Uh, Gian Martin managed to get back goal side. It's a delightful flick over. And we'll maybe see another angle of that later on. But Erling Haaland... Trying for the finish, and Yaki Pena getting what he could on the ball. For any true football fan, this is why we love the preseason. We're seeing Oscar Bob on one end, we're seeing Pablo Torre on the other so far. These young players getting a chance to shine. Araujo's another. Araujo back from his loan spell and uh, asked some questions of the Manchester City defence. That ball coming in had to be delivered away. Senosco Guardiol. Slides in. Here's another look, maybe from a better angle. See whether this one did go across the line. Well, that's Ooh, a... I don't know. I think that might be a goal, Duncan, but you know what? It's the preseason. Nobody's going to put up too much of a fuss, except maybe Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland, prolific a goal scorer. Just showing the combination he has with Oscar Bob. We see the first Barca corner. An abundance of height in this Barca side. And lifted into the area. There is an attacking foul from the Blaugrana. But this is what I'm talking about. We, we, let's focus on the Barca side for a second. We look at Pablo Torre. Last season on loan at Girona. Barely found his way into the squad. I think a lot of people thought, well... With the departure of Oriol Romeu, the midfield needing some help at Girona, he would be a guy that can come in and create. But they didn't really need him in the end. And actually, it was his youth that kept him out of the squad. He was going there to get experience. Obviously, they make their Champions League run. That experience became something that ended up hurting him. Let's see what happens with him this year. It's a good start for him in the preseason. And we'll keep our eye on number six throughout this game because so far he's looked pretty impressive. Some of these players as well, especially with the change of coach, it's a clean slate, a chance to impress. Andy Flick with no previous connection to uh, these players either in the large part. No, and it's pretty obvious when you come in, especially at Barca, who have so many resources as uh, in terms of player personnel, you can go in with that blank mentality of how you envision your team looking and taking each player and building them up from the ground floor. I think that's what he's thinking with these preseason games. What am I getting out of all of these players? Because he's already said himself he loves the look of the talent level of La Masia, something that we obviously already knew existed. And there goes Pablo Torre again. Pablo Torre has done so well in the middle of just letting the ball run, being able to turn, and then kick-starting the attack. But meanwhile, on the counter is Manchester City. First time delivery across. Too far behind Erling Haaland for him to finish off. The let-off for Barca there. It's still pre-season, Duncan. Those are the ones that go in in January. Is a, something of a makeshift Barca defence today with Gerard Martin, Clement Lenglet, Sergio Dominguez, and Hector Fort. They won't have played alongside uh, each other on too many occasions. There's been some really good work from Barca in the centre of the midfield. As we said, Pablo Torre. Lovely vision comes to scan around and find the best option before receiving the ball. And Rico Lewis giving a little kick there by Vitor Roque. Here comes Rico Lewis, delivers that at pace. Too much pace, in fact. 
And Jack Grealish and tumbles over. It's a set piece in Barca's favour. In uh, Manchester City's favour, rather. It's uh, Grealish who goes off the field of play under the push of Hector Fort. Uh, City come out trying to attack at every possible moment. This Barca defense that's fairly inexperienced, as you said, are going to have to learn on the fly. Of course, Noah Aljo for a while, Christensen, Pauku Barsi, who's playing elsewhere at the moment in the Olympics. A lot of a learning curve, including defending set pieces. Jack Grealish takes the free kick, swerves it in, asks some questions of Iñaki Benya, who frantically backpedals to palm that over the top. Effort on target there, and that time, the intervention of uh, Peña was required. Now the corner is the option to play this short, which we've seen Manchester City do plenty of times with Julian Alvarez, with Phil Foden, with Kev De Bruyne. It goes long, trying to and Barca might be a little worried there that they allowed Erling Haaland to get in front of the defence, maybe switching off there, Clement Lenglet. Well, whipped in at pace. Haaland couldn't meet that at the back post. He got in front of the Frenchman. Well, the player is back from a, a lone spell. Last term at Aston Villa, on the Surgent side, will also be playing major European football next season. In the centre, that is uh, rather lackadaisical from Manchester City, and Barca have four players who can go forward. Is uh, Casado? Looking for it, Pablo Torre couldn't find him. Vita Hockey tries to cut that back, and we saw a little bit of frustration there because there were bodies forward, but there was no angle for the pass. It looks like Pablo Torre just wanted his teammates to come a little bit too closer to him. I'd like another look at that. I don't know that we're going to get it, but Pablo Torre. Well, here we are. Let's see. Oh no, this this is just a replay of the foul. It, that was one thing that if you were looking for ways for Pablo Torre to improve last year, it was finding that right pass. Sometimes he almost tried to be too creative with it. And in his defense, that time around, it seemed like all angles were closed down. But you do want to have a pass there to come through and, and at least get a shot towards the target. Mark Bernal lays that off to the right-hand side. It's now with Mark Casado, the number 30. Waiting to make the run off the last man is Paul Victor. Snechi Dominguez to Lenglet. And it's so he just backed off uh, Lenglet briefly. And they're packing that central channel, making it difficult for Barca. Forcing them out onto the wings. This is more like it. We'll finally get to see that Barca passing play. We're working on possession football, playing against Manchester City. Maybe not uh, ideal. They're a side who like to have the ball as well. It's going to be an interesting few weeks, a series of fixtures for Barca. To get them in tune for the new season. Real Madrid at the weekend. AC Milan and uh, AS Monaco in the Gampa Trophy. All before that season opener on uh, the 17th of August against Valencia. Then taking place at Mestalla. Coming up to 20 minutes uh, gone here, but it's uh, been a pacey game so far. A couple of chances still waiting for Barca to test that man Edison though. Bellinglet. Long, long ball over to the right-hand side. Nicely done. 
And this will be cut back once again. It's uh, Gvardiol who cuts out the danger. A little bit more incisive, though, from Barca as they get into the final third. Yeah, two of the positions I'm looking at, of course, we've talked about Pablo Torre, but Julian Araujo on the right-hand side has a legitimate chance to be a starter this year. He was out on loan at Las Palmas a year ago, played really well for them, had a couple of moments where he lost his head. Here comes another chance for Barca. Again, Vito Joque was an option. He was ignored there. His back heel. There's the side-footed effort. It's not too far off as it flies above the crossbar. It was Marc Casado appearing from that second line. And again, nicked from the uh, Manchester City midfielder Oscar Bob in possession by Pau Victor. It's nicely done. It's good work from Pau Victor. It's hard work winning the ball back. And Marc Casado, when he's played with the first team, it's usually been along the back line, a lot of times at the right back position. But his position for me is that number six. And he's not quite playing that. He's playing a joint role a little bit more today with Marc Bernal. But I like when he has the opportunity in the middle of the pitch to use everything around him. That time, a decent effort on close to the target. back on the defensive you can see that first shot though that will hopefully be a sign of what's to come teamed up field by Calvin Phillips looking for the runner and Barca just shut the door there Clement Lenglet sweeps up the ball do have some first team regulars on the bench for Barca could come on including Robert Lewandowski Oil Romeo as well, Inigo Martinez, Alejandro Balde, good to see him back after a, an injury hit finale to the last campaign. We go over to the right hand side, there is a call for this from Vito Jorge, has to check his run to keep level with Calvin Phillips. Martin. Inglet. Sergio Dominguez starting off that move. Casado had spread it out to the right-hand side. That is a, a rather stray ball that is kept in. But it undoes some of the forward progress. And Gerard Martin had to scramble that one under control. Oh, beautiful flick through. Here comes the opportunity for Barca. And there is the opening goal, Pau Victor who scored 20 goals for the B-team last season. Slides in the ball in this pre-season friendly to break the deadlock. First chance on target for the Blaugrana. And it is a well-taken goal of a clever build-up from the Blaugrana. Barca 1, Manchester City 0. Well, Barca are really excited about this young prospect. Pau Victor has an eye for goal. We saw it last year. You said it. He scored 20 a year ago. And at the top level, can he do it? Well, this is a good sign to see him get in on goal behind and really just slots it past Ederson with relative ease. He goes right between his legs. That's all you need to do. Just put it towards the target. Good things tend to happen when you do that. It's a calm finish, and Hansi Flick is excited. It's the first goal in his era. Pau Victor starts at centre forwards, and it takes him just 24 minutes to get off the mark in this pre-season encounter. He just threaded through the legs of Edison. He's beating Calvin Phillips for pace, and it was a delightful flick to set him up as well. Victor makes it 1-0 midway through the first half. Manchester City looked to respond. This is a run down the, the left-hand side. It's an Esbrand. Overs from him. Can't get the cross off. The body's in the box here for Manchester City. And Gerard Martin is in there as well, though, and he hoops the ball over the halfway line. Well, it took them five or ten minutes to get into the game. I think that's an acceptable excuse, considering they haven't played 
any real football yet this season, and it didn't take them much longer after that to get comfortable. They've been in their rhythm, Barca, so far. They've been able to knock the ball around confidently. And it only took one a little through ball in behind to find one of the newest number nines. Of course, that number still belongs to Robert Lewandowski. But Pa Victor looks good so far. Well, we may see Lewandowski in uh, the second half. He was in action in the European the Championship with Poland, but uh, Lewandowski, one of those who has travelled with the squad. He's Calvin Phillips for Manchester City in that flying defensive role. He's the player who lunged in looking for the block on Paul Victor's shot, but to no avail. Guardiola put under pressure. here Pep Guardiola trying to give instructions to uh, O'Reilly playing as the second midfield pivot Calvin Phillips out to the right just goes uh, slightly astray it's interesting to see how Barca are choosing to defend so far given the attacking options that they have. Some of those players are dropping back and filling a double role. We see Victor Hoek, look how far back he's coming just to help out his back line. And on the other side, Araujo's doing the same. He was a traditional right back for Las Palmas in the last year. At times, pushed up to right wing back. That seems to be a little bit more of the role he's choosing to fill here today, or that Hansi Flick is putting forth. Because Hector de Ford is also a natural right back, so they both get their chance at the same time. That's a, a typical an adjustment for a, a player out on loan from Barca. Goes to a new club on loan. They find out he's got uh, maybe more attacking talent than the rest of the team. So he's put further forward. We saw that in his day for Marco Correa when he played at Eibar. And we saw that last season with uh, Araujo. Sometimes used as an impact sub to have some pace going forward. It'll be a breakout campaign for him. He'll be one of the players defending this free kick in. It's going to be a left-footed delivery. Swerves towards goal. Iñaki Peña gets in front of it. Maybe got a, a touch off the Manchester City player first. Trying to push that towards goal. Let's another look. It was Calvin Phillips who was flying after the ball. About to reach the half hour here in Orlando. Considerable delay due to the weather conditions here. There hasn't been too much of an effect on the playing surface. See, it's a little bit bumpy, but uh, that's been no problem for the players. No uh, rain either at the moment nor a strong wind, but you always have to be careful in, in Florida. This uh, Sometimes you just have a hurricane blowing through or some strong winds or heavy thunderstorms. It happens out of nowhere, too. You'll have a thunderstorm for about 30 minutes and then all of a sudden you'll have sunny skies. It's fairly typical in pre-season friendlies in Orlando. Maybe even have the players out for the handshake, send them back into the the dressing rooms and then wait for the storm to pass. 80 minute delay for this one. Yeah. Pass back to Rico Lewis. And a couple of good seasons at uh, Manchester City, but uh, has to compete with Kyle Walker for that right back position. Good luck with that. To make his way into the box is McAtee. Back from his loan on out to uh, Sheffield United. He'd be very keen to have him back. This could be McAtee's time. Ball is uh, cut back here. Manchester City looking for the finish. It's all a little bit of a scramble as Erling Haaland looks for the ball. Now Rico Lewis. That's cut back. Side footed shot blocked by the Barca back line. 
Barca defending very deep, finally managed to get the ball away. Defending deep, defending calm. It seemed like that they, at any moment there, could have lost their cool. These are some really nice opportunistic passes by City with the ball just pinballing around in the area. But it's good defending. First, I think that's Casado. No, that's out there defending. Actually, it was Pablo Torres' header initially. And then the block from Martin could have been a lot more dangerous. That's what City like to do, of course. They like to create that pressure by just seeing what happens when the ball bounces around in the box. Nicely done. So Clement Lengler getting touch tight on uh, Erling Haaland. They have played against uh, each other in the Premier League. And Lenglet loans for last season at uh, Aston Villa. Unknown future for Clement uh, Lenglet. Has had some problems with injuries in the defence last season. And maybe Clement Lenglet uh, will be one of those players who either turns over a new leaf under Hansi Flick or is sent out to another club and either one loan on a permanent deal. Early cross in. This is handy for Barca. Maybe the second ball doesn't quite get away from Calvin Phillips far enough for the Black Rana to pick it up. It wasn't so long ago that we were talking about the defense for Barca when they put up the best defense essentially in Europe two years ago. That ball played across is a useful one that Edison, again, outside his six yard box, is able to pounce upon. That this team had an abundance of defensive depth. We thought, well, they have five or six center backs if you include Kunde in that picture as well. And then, as you said, last year, the injuries took over. Over the top, looking for Haaland. Can't get round in Yaki Pena. He follows suit from uh, Edison in getting to the edge of his area and making the clearance away from the Norwegian. This is good back and forth football. Although it's interesting, neither Pep nor Hansi have opened their mouths anytime we pan to them. They haven't said a word. That's got to be a, a case of the preseason gears turning in the head, but nothing yet coming out. Communicative. Well, it should be said that uh, Pep Guardiola, he hasn't sat down yet uh, on his, uh, in his technical area. It's because when he sits down, he's always talking to his assistants to try and figure something out. But I, I think he's all just doing it in his head right now. We may see some wholesale adjustments for the second half. Wouldn't be too surprising if both sides change their entire side for the second stanza as Oscar Bob is pulled down. So Vitor Falke on defensive duties, giving away another free kick on the near side. Now this is a learning experience for him too. If he's going to be asked to track back that far, he has to know that he's got to defend a little bit more delicately in those moments because giving away too many free kicks in an attacking position like this can be dangerous. We are about to see another free kick in, maybe from Oscar Bob. It's the option as well for McAdee to take that. McAdee steps away. Bob swings it in, doesn't find the head of Haaland. And back out to Grealish. Grealish, delicate chip in. But Pena heads away uh, with uh, that double punch. And come on the box from Guardiola. That might have left some vulnerability at the back for Manchester City if Barca can break through the press. They win the ball back illegally, and it's a free kick in a shooting position. For the boys in blue, Manchester City. Now there it seems by Raufo. The appeal for a penalty as Guardiola went down in the box. Well, Raufo just uh, sent uh, the Manchester City player Mark Benal's way. Benal provides the roadblock. Free kick in a shooting position. I should put a player down behind the wall as well, just in case this is struck low. It's Calvin Phillips. Ooh. And Iñaki Pena pushes that away once again. 
Calvin Phillips low down the pecking order for free kick takers normally for Manchester City behind the likes of uh, Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden. Well, his chance, and it on target, and Aki Pena has to fly across. Short by Phillips. Green is trying for the one two. Into the box. Also looking to get this clear. They managed to do so through Araujo. Short pass by McAtee. Vardyol. On the ground for Wilson Esbrand, who got some limited first team opportunities last season in the Cups. Bob. They just slowed down his momentum. Bass are able to capitalise and they will surge forward here. We've got three players running through the centre. Held up again by Pau Victor. And Pablo Torre has been the best Barca player with the ball at his feet in the first half. Just loses possession there in something of a rarity. It's a really nice break from Pau Victor too. He's showcasing his skills in just about every part of the pitch because it was a winger's run down the left-hand side. Dropped back to Calvin Phillips. To the left, Woods Ness Brandt. Low strike again, and Yaku Pena diving to his right to meet that effort. Had a bit of pace on it, and Yaku Pena able to spot that through the traffic. This was uh, a spectacular save he made from Calvin Phillips. It was spinning with plenty of effect towards the top corner. Latest effort comes from Jack Grealish. One to the area, Oscar Bob cuts that back. Haaland strikes wide. Under pressure from Sergi Dominguez. Looks like Dominguez got the last touch on that as well. I think he did, and the frustrations for Erling Haaland, at least in this half, will be something that he won't forget about at halftime. He'll forget about it tomorrow since it's the preseason. Corner over to the back post. Hit down by Haaland, delivered clear. He's had a couple of chances, Erling Haaland. Remember, he's finished slow last year, too. I want to pick it up early at the beginning of 24-25. Guardiola right, into the box. There's the finish. There's the equaliser. Manchester City back on terms. It's O'Reilly who latches onto that pass and sends one low out of the reach of Iñaki Pena. It's Barca 1, Manchester City 1. For all of the good defending that Barca have done, this one was slightly sloppy. The back line didn't pull up as much as it could have. Yeah, you can see actually that they just weren't in sync. It was Lung Lei who was sort of caught out and played O'Reilly on side. 1-1. One, one. One, one good finish from uh, O'Reilly, a player from the Manchester City B team. All square coming up to half time here in Orlando. He cancels out. And the opener scored by Pau Victor. Manchester City goal scored by number 75, Nico O'Reilly. In the final minute. Does to respond immediately with Gerard Martin. So it's slightly overhead, but it may very well work out for Barca. They get a corner here. Well, it's going to be given as a, a goal kick. We've seen a few decisions which haven't gone in the Barca's way high up the field. That's another look at that Vardy old pass. O'Reilly taking that pass to Yaki Pena. And we're back all square with five minutes to go before the interval. Phillips. Oh. 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 
that was brought back a little bit fairly cleanly by Barca. In case we get to Crowley behind the ball. And also Pep Guardiola a little more exasperated. Maybe based on the current trend, maybe the weakest side that uh, Guardiola will field all year. Tended now in the cup competition to field strong lineups from the start, even against uh, lower league opposition. As Rico Lewis stings the hand of Iñaki Peña, but it is uh, a good stop from the Barca goalkeeper. Effort with that and sliding intervention, but uh, he takes no inroads from it. Let's have a look at Rico Lewis's shot. Good save from Iñaki Pena. Nice steady arm. Who has uh, he's made a couple of saves today, Iñaki. Just a halfway line couldn't quite pick out Victor Hockey or Pau Victor. Too often we see Barca go route one. Yeah. Yeah. Toro trying to pass through. Stay down. Stay down. You can hear the instructions from Hansi Flick. It's going to end up being a mix of uh, English, German, Spanish as the season goes along. Yeah. I think we're all thinking it, right? It's It's got to be a team effort in terms of communication because Xavi typically communicated in Spanish, although if he needed to, he could switch to English or Catalan. Hansi doesn't have that luxury as much. It's been a long time since we've had a, a Barca coach who doesn't speak in Spanish. Outside. This is the time of uh, Terry in the 80s. I know that it makes everybody here at Barca TV who have work to do a little bit more busy because they're typically translating from English in, or from uh, Spanish into English. Now at least us on the English side, we don't have as much work anymore. Doing it the other way around. One more season with uh, Bobby Robson. He had a, quite a famous interpreter, one Jose Mourinho. Flick. Well, it shouldn't be too much of a problem in, on the training ground. He'll have uh, Thiago as well, who's, uh, who's able to uh, translate and knows the Barca system as well, an ideal incorporation. In terms of vocabulary, he'll need on the, on the training ground. It's fairly limited. We've seen coaches get by with very little uh, in the past. Press conferences might be more of a problem, but it might be Hansi Flick's, uh, Hansi Flick's advantage. I was going to say, that, that might help him more than anything because it's harder to give away as much and to allow the press to play you as much if you don't understand everything. So we're coming up to half time. We probably won't have too much in the way of stoppage time added at the end of this first half. first period of course the imprecisions of pre-season and unfamiliar players defender the block here comes the follow-up big deflection takes the ball out Barca unhappy with what they thought was a ball out of play and played into the area Ladies and gentlemen, the has a solitary minute of stoppage time to be added. Oh, grabbed by the goalkeeper, Iñaki Peña. Has a look upfield, he's in no hurry to send it up there, though. Get 
those passes going. One back by Manchester City. Well, we do expect wholesale changes for the second half. Check with the watch from the referee. Going to end the first half in possession. This is turning into a rugby match. They're letting him finish the possession. We're beyond the extra minute. Well beyond it, but go on. Is that Alco? Vasquez waiting for the whistle, which is not forthcoming. Here's Gerard Martin. Cuts that back. It's allowed to run sure. beautifully left. Right footed strike. Second goal of the game, and it's Pablo Torre who drives that one in. Edison gets a hand to it, but he cannot keep it out. And right at the end of the first half, Barca make their way out in front for a second time. It's a great strike from Pablo Torre after it was beautifully left by Pau Victor. Yeah, Pau Victor again is in the midst of it. And Pablo Torre capitalizes on what's been a very good half of football for him. A nice dummy. And Pablo Torre with one little shimmy shake onto his right hand side. Boy, if we're talking about real competitions and not friendlies, there's some uh, polemica to be discussed about how long that first half stoppage time went on for. But you know what? We're all here to have fun. So let's do it. 2 1 at the half. We reach the half time break. Two goals for Barca from Pau Victor and Pablo Torre have them 2 1 up against Manchester City. We'll be back for the second time. We're back at the Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Florida, and the second half is on its way of Barca's first preseason test. They lead the way against Manchester City by two goals to one. Goals from Pau Victor and Pablo Torre, right on the stroke of half time, handing the Blaugrana the lead. Uh, there was uh, an early equaliser from uh, Nico O'Reilly for Manchester City. There we see him on your screen. One of the players who's staying on for the second half. You can imagine that there will be a series of changes uh, at the interval. Peroni is going to come on for Manchester City and for Barca we'll see the introduction of several players by the looks of things. Uh, Stefan Ortega also a change of goalkeeper for uh, Manchester City. This opportunity maybe for Hansi Flick just to run the rule over some of the players who uh, he won't have seen that much uh, of. And uh, just confirmation of that change that Edison goes off. We'll also have uh, the uh, introduction of uh, a Barca player. We'll confirm that uh, in a moment. But it is uh, second half action on the way with Barca out in front. Barca first out from the tunnel for this uh, delayed uh, second half. As the Blaugrana going from left to right. Lee Ortega getting a, a touch, passes that out. Ortega maybe getting a more frequent role in the first team this season if Edison departs. Barca substitutions then. Alex Valle replaces Hector Fort. That's a change in the defence for the Blaugrana. Tony Fernandez is on for Julian Araujo. Flick maybe face a bit of a dilemma. He'll want to 
and make movements in, in his side, but he doesn't want to break things up too much. Victor Jorge has been replaced by Kim Yun yet as well. Maybe on the hour there will be more changes made by Flick and uh, immediately it's a stern challenge from uh, Maximo Pironi. Welcome to the game, Kim Junient. It's uh, another La Masia product, which, as we were expecting, many of them would get their opportunities in this early stage. Uh, Peroni has come on in place of Erling Haaland. Norwegian who a couple of chances and one that may have been a goal that uh, Iñaki Peña was deemed to have kept off the line. Holland, who played no part in the European Championships, of course. This is inclusion in this, in this game. Replaced by Peroni, and we'll see that how Manchester City line up up top. Only if it's not Haaland, it's uh, Julian Alvarez. And Julian Alvarez is not available today. He was away in the, the Copa America and Argentina's success in that competition. Back to Iñaki Peña. One ball up to a bit of uh, Route 1 from Barcelona just to switch things up. Goalscorer and Nico O'Reilly, Pep Guardiola is guiding him through this game as Barca win that ball back. It was rather careless from Manchester City in the centre. Managed to recover. And just three changes for Barca at halftime thus far means. We're going to get a lot of players who will likely look at about 30, 20 to 30 minutes of time in the second half to get their legs underneath them. The one time the left hand side from Manchester City. Shimmy in from Grealish. The end product was lacking. Been shown onto his right foot by the Barca defender, fresh onto the field of play, Alex Valle. You said that he missed the end product, but everything leading up to that from Grealish looked pretty good. And this is what we've seen from him throughout this friendly so far. He's clearly working himself into a better physical condition and a more technical ability to weave through the defenders, which is, I think, what he's been lacking the last couple of years. But if he regains that, he could be very dangerous down the left. He's wearing the captain's armband for the second half. Skippers the side with... Several of the regulars, Ruben Diaz, and Kevin De Bruyne, and Carl Walker, all absent from this game. Phillips to the outside. Good play. Oscar Bolt, one of those Magic City players, has stayed on for the second half, who is part of the first team setup. Grealish. That's a nice brand. to cut that back and there's a tidy pass that Barca read well. That's another one sent up here on the counter. Stefan Ortega improvises. He gets the ball away. It seems like the further along we get in footballing lore as we continue this evolution of the sport the keepers are further and further and further out from their area that's a prime example a lot of uh, teams playing like that in uh, La Liga last season uh, Baez the Las Palmas goalkeeper the player was uh, furthest out but we saw Marc Andre Stegen go on a few strolls uh, in his uh, uh, campaign
Kevin Lenglet uh, getting into it with Oscar Bob. Hunty Flick might be on the hour mark looking to make more changes. Traditionally what we see in pre-season friendly, some uh, players could do with uh, a half hour in their legs. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that there were only three changes made, but I, I think you're right. I think it's more about protecting some of the players who are going to come on, some of the regulars. And take it, it come way out there. Defence has sold him down the river slightly. Guardiol heading across. Had that been intercepted, Barca would have had an open goal to which to shoot. Uh, and the further out they come, the more opportunity we have for some spectacular distance goals with the keeper being caught out of position. They tend to come in spades, these uh, long-range goals. Certain players inspired by, by others scoring from the halfway line becomes the fashion of Grealish. Phillips. I'd say the two that come to mind recently would be what Patrick Schick did in the Euros of 2020 and then uh, I believe Harry Kane hit one not too long ago last season, no? Brand. That's against the cross in. Felix. Grealish really steps out of position. Now all the way over into the middle. To work his way through. Here's Wilson S. Brand. Pack, Barca do get it half clear. Barca trying to look sprightly on the counter attack when Manchester City commit players forward. Kovacic. Kovacic. His second campaign at Manchester City. He enjoyed uh, much success with uh, the likes of Chelsea. That's given us a foul, rather soft one against Mark Casado. Mark Casado is going to be one of those players who wants every minute possible. Yeah, there's a couple of them out there who could benefit too, like Casado, from playing extended minutes in these friendlies. So yeah, of course you're going to have your your regulars with uh, with Robert Lewandowski or or Balde, who still needs to get actually some minutes under his legs, considering the injury plagued season he had last year. But some of the younger guys, yeah, they could go all day, and some of them will. Kovacic into the box, and cut back, takes a deflection, Barca again, defending deep, winning the ball away and trying to break quickly. It's a yellow card. And it, it is another nifty turn from Pablo Torre, but before that moment, this is part of the problem, I think, sometimes with 
wanting to live in possession is they try to pass the ball into the net. City, Barca are guilty of it too sometimes too. That, that's one that's just got to be a shot. Here's Casado. Took a while for Barca to get their first shot Ladies off. In fact, their first effort on target was the goal from Pau Victor, 24 minutes in. Nico O'Reilly just played for us. Casado have both been booked in the last couple of minutes. So space here for Vito Jorge. Slide rule pass from him. Ortega is rounded, but Ortega recovers. Making the save as Paul Victor looks for his second goal of the night. It's another nice movement from Paul Victor, and this is a slick pass outside of the boot. That's on target from Paul Victor. It forced Ortega to make a pretty decent sprawling save. It is a Barca corner, Pablo Torre is going to take. He's the main creative force for the Plaukrana in the first half. And across, half a hitter out. Being screamed out from the sidelines. Second a stray pass, Ortega has to keep that in. It's pulled down by Alex Valle. Playing right back in the second half, having come on for Hector Fort. And through the middle. A twist of the ankle, maybe for Tony Fernandez. Hobbles away after miscontrolling. May have just rolled his ankle inside the area. Delicately for a strike, and there's too much underneath that. It was a clean contact. The strike goes off target, but it's another look on goal for the Plaukrana. For as good as Pablo Torre has looked all game, he'll be upset with himself about the contact on this one because Barca have done everything right to get into these positions. That's a brilliant stand-up at the back post, too. He'll know that he wants that one back. Pablo Torre, he's been great so far today. Lifted over the top. After the breakaway, Barca will have to defend. Play through the middle, here comes Grealish. Grealish looking for goal, may have taken that too far, he hasn't. He's put that in to the top right corner, it's the equaliser. For the second time in this game for Jack Grealish. On the break, he strides away. Scores past Iñaki Peña, it is Barca 2, Manchester City 2. And it's the second time that Barca, with a lead, have allowed a goal that almost seems too easy to concede. This is a pretty simple run, nobody's stopping the ball. and. I don't know, let's, let's have another look here. Grealish puts this one in, and Yaki Peña is tied to his near post, but he does leave a lot of space in that far side. It's just a good finish. That's a quality finish from Grealish in the end. Grealish once again taking on Valle. This time around he shoots first time, and his less favored foot. He gets the equalizer for Manchester City. Half an hour to go here. The score remains the same at uh, full time. We will get a penalty shootout. And facing any penalties would be 
the uh, Barca goalkeeper on his way on because we've got a, a change here. And it's going to be uh, Ander Astralaga. The B2 comes in. First uh, experience with the first team. And Astralaga has climbed the ranks for Barca through the youth system and playing for Juvenil, playing for Barca Athletic. Also get a few more Barca Athletic lookies like Noah Darvich, who I've enjoyed seeing in spurts. Barca also uh, bringing on, by the looks of things, in place of Pau Victor, it's going to be Robert Lewandowski. Changes probably not reactive. Uh, they were, would have been planned anyway for the hour mark. And they come coincidentally just after the Manchester City equaliser. by Ortega. Oh, we've got a player down for Manchester City. Looks like it might be an injury. It's uh, O'Reilly who is down. Score of the Blues' first goal. Always trying to monitor and manage the workload of these players in the preseason too, especially that first game. Don't want to let anybody stew and sit out there too long. Risk an injury, it seems like this will be close to the end of the line for O'Reilly. It does appear as if Mamadou uh, Sassol is being warmed up, just in case. Be a, a triple change. Wright and uh, Fate also being prepared to come on players who haven't had much first team experience with Manchester City. Back to Ortega. Way here. And so looking through Lewandowski to cause some chaos inside the six yard box. Ortega manages to get down to the ball. This defense cleared away anyway. We get those substitutions now. Tomacic, McAtee, and O'Reilly. Being withdrawn. And Fabiol as well with Doyle to come on. The wholesale changes made by Pep Guardiola. Still have around about 25 minutes to go. A little bit more youth brought on. The more experienced hands make way. And if you're a City fan, if you're a football fan in general, as we cruise through the second half, for City's purposes, for Barca eventually, when we assume they'll make a few more changes of this ilk, you get to see what some of these young players have in the tank. They're all very familiar with one another because they've played with each other at the various youth levels, either within City's youth organization or obviously in La Masia. Played out by Ortega. Ortega 
pings that over to the left hand side of Wilson S. Brad, he might see out the full 90 minutes today. Another player who gets regular playing time for the Blues. It could be an answer for them on the left hand side, but they typically had problems at left back. Grealish, diagonal cross-field ball from him, sent long to the right, it's out of play. for trying on the break when Manchester City commit players up towards the halfway line. Actually at times have been able to break through. Just coming up at the weekend. El Clasico, the American version. Without some of the players who we will see when the season gets underway. We seem to get one of those a year, and the last two years, we've gotten two separate golazos. One from Rafinha, and last year it was Fermin. So I can only imagine that somebody else's left foot is getting involved this weekend. William the occasion state side, it's part of... Uh, it's been the trend for Barca in pre-season, before it was uh, taking on some local sides, uh, trips to places like a lot or uh, games against uh, Girona when they were uh, still in the second division. Then maybe a couple of games uh, in the US against uh, uh, MLS sides. But the change now is all competitive games uh, against top level sides due respect to the aforementioned but uh, against sight they may very well meet in the Champions League ideal preparation for the start of the new season which is just over two weeks away <laughs> Take on to the right hand side clipped in looking for the drop and the volley it's a big deflection that allows Barca to get it away and part of the preseason rituals, I think everybody realizes too that even if you're playing the big fish rather than some of the minnows, you don't have to trot out your ideal starting 11 and play them for 90 minutes. That's what we're seeing today, and that's normal. Up inside, might see a shot on here. It is run away by Clement Lingley. Cynical foul there, just as Barca were attempting the break. And it brings with it uh, a yellow card for pulling back Davi. Well, one thing that's uh, aesthetically somewhat different is I'm not used to seeing, at least no, I don't think many of us are really in the last couple of years, a number 10 shirt out there. It was given to Ansu Fati, but of course he was on loan last year. And in terms of uh, wearing the number 10, and the responsibility that that bears, even though this is preseason, as we know, that's still fairly high praise for the young German. And David has the number 10 shirt for the time being. And we'll be watching his progress keenly over the course of the campaign. 20 minutes remain in this one. It's a stalemate two apiece between Barca and Manchester City. Another long ball for the Blaugrana. It's going to be useful if there's a cutback there for Lewandowski. Lewandowski not making a diagonal run to the back post, not making a run to the near post either. He decides to hold back. Something which you can do, but you need a teammate to make that run for you, to leave you open. Yeah, I thought he was going to reward Kim Junyent for that excellent control down the left. And 
and yet was out of options before he really had a chance to make a decision. Upfield by Calvin Phillips. New role for him today in the centre of the defence. Also at times play with three at the back. So it's been a fairly disciplined display. We're going to see more Barca substitutions though. It's these kind of substitutions which tend to break up the game. Only 20 minutes remaining. Wanting to give players uh, a few minutes. That's when some of the tactics maybe break down. Flick is going to bring on four new players. Through the middle is heavy control. That won't have Pep Guardiola very happy. Beautiful movement there from Lewandowski. Looks like he took a kick on the ankle for his troubles. It was a delightful turn from him, though. That's what he gets for trying to establish a little bit of rhythm in the preseason as he gets nicked. I try that uh, pressure on the goalkeeper. It's nearly paid off, but Barca will get this clear. Several players will be glancing over to the sidelines, wondering if it's uh, they who are going to be hooked. Wanting to make one final impact on the game. It's Wilson Esbrand, who's gone down with the spot of cramp. Uh, no time like the present then to facilitate some of those substitutions. Even the young players, despite the fact that their legs can probably go on for a, a little while longer than some of the veterans, it being preseason, not being used to running for a full hour and then some. Now we'll see some subs. Uh, Mark Bernal going off. Oriol Romeo is one of those who will be introduced. And what is a, a quadruple change? Casado replaced by Aguirre uh, Fernandez. Lenglet is uh, coming off as well for Inigo Martinez to come on. Andres Cuenca replaces Sergi Dominguez. And uh, we'll get to see Alejandro Balde replacing Gerard Martin. Substitutions for the 74th. So, uh, a series of changes late on made by Hansi Flick. And Igo gets some run, and it's good and better more than anything to see Balde back out on the pitch. We've missed him. I think Barca missed him last year at times. There were players stepping in in his stead. Joao Cancelo was uh, superb throughout the season, but we knew that this was a youth movement at the lateral positions in defense. Balde has to be that guy for now. He'll continue to get his opportunity. So changes as well for Manchester City. And Betis come on for Wilson Esbrand. Hamilton replaces Bob. change in the defence for uh, Manchester City. A couple of players have stayed on from the start, Grealish amongst them, and Rico Lewis, Calvin Phillips as well. Is that familiar bellow from uh, Pep Guardiola on the sidelines. Sense so he seemed to be taking things fairly relaxed in the opening minutes, and now He's got into the swing of things, uh, Pep Guardiola. Shouts for his players, giving the instructions, which maybe the youngsters need. It's pre-season for everybody, Duncan. That includes the vocal cords of the likes of Pep Guardiola. 
another unconvincing pass back is dealt with by Astralaga. He's replaced by number 97. Josh Wilson Esbrand. Suppose your vocal cords too need a little bit of tuning up. It's been a, a, a long summer without football for us. But you seem to be in mid-season form, so I'm not worried about that. Well, two Barca goals to, to call already. That is promising for the Blaugrana. The first two goals under Hansi Flick. The centre with right. Players come on for Wilson, S. Brandon Bette, trying to make his way down the left. It's a roadblock. And in the form of Tony Fernandez. Tony Fernandez again, standing in front of the runner. That's a stray ball. Far too much of the Manchester City fullback. Now you'll find a, a, a combination of tired legs and fresh but stale legs at the moment. That's what this next 10 minutes is going to look like. Estralaga. Phillips to the right. deal with it. Set upcoming tests for Barca Real Madrid, AC Milan and the Gamper Trophy game against AS Monaco. Before the season gets underway on the 17th of August against Valencia. First home game comes uh, seven days later against Athletic Club. Another, I expect it to be half campaign at the Olympic Stadium. Spotify Camp now gets uh, uh, remodeled. I think we'll enjoy our time there while we have it. It's been certainly a a change and a different from the traditions of what we're used to seeing at the Spotify Camp Nou. But the pageantry that the Olympic Stadium brings creates some memories. And although it was obviously not a fun way to have the only Clásico there, it did look different, despite the fact that Jude Bellingham sort of ruined the party. will be back there for the start of this season. With a few changes, of course, not least the new coach, Hansi Flick. Coming up to 10 minutes to go, and if the score stays the same, we'll go to a penalty shootout. Not too many of the players who featured in the last respective penalty shootouts for these sides on the field. He, of course, missed out against uh, Real Madrid. That miss from Bernardo Silva. Defensive work from the number 12, Alex Valle. players have impressed uh, tonight, pre-season friendly as it is. In particular, uh, two of the players involved in the goals who are now off the field of play, Pau Victor and uh, Pablo Torre. Ladies and gentlemen, attendance this evening is a solid crowd of 63,200. Well, that'll work. A hefty attendance today for some of these fans, their first experience of watching Barca in the flesh. 
And there's a lot of fans that'll come to this game not really knowing what to expect. Maybe they're familiar with the the main first team Barca, but not so familiar with some of the players that have come to play today. If they're following the game as intently as you and I normally do, they'll come away with this thinking, wow, Pau Victor, Pablo Torre, these are names to keep our eye on to uh, potentially, eventually make their way into bigger and brighter lights. There's something about uh, a paradigm as well with uh, well, the American way of uh, following sports. A lot of uh, these uh, fans, they follow players. And this is more of a team uh, effort because it's not the uh, first team stars, the, the main regulars. Well, they might have just spotted some for the future who they can say, I was there when I saw uh, Pablo Torre or Pau Victor tearing things up on the pre-season tour. And it's the occasion seeing Barca. There's plenty of gravitas as well. We might see a cross in here from the Blagrana. Just fall inside the box. Too much time taken in lining it up though for Tony Fernandez. back line when you talk about the American football fans following the sport I can tell you from experience that when I was living there it becomes a lot easier to follow this sport whether it's this club or a specific league because there's a lot of competition when it comes to sport in America you've got American football you've got basketball you've got hockey ice hockey and, and those all happen throughout the same seasons, and not to mention college athletics as well. But what's beautiful about this game and why I think it's it's got the ability and the potential to grow in the way that it has, which is why you see 63,000 fans in Orlando on uh, a Tuesday night, is because these games typically, when they're, when they're happening in La Liga or the Premier League or the Champions League, is that they're happening at times of the day that are otherwise untouched by other sports. It's 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 o'clock in the morning, and people are waking up, starved for something to watch, some sort of athletic event, and they get good football. Even with the uh, 80 minute delay, this is a more palatable time uh, for a kickoff for the US audience. Uh, I'm going to see Heskey come on. Number 81, replacing Jack Grealish, who sees out 84 minutes of action today. Impressive performance from him. Got a, a goal as well. Captain the side in the second half. Uh, one of the first team players who have Barca are drawn against Manchester City in the Champions League at some stage this season. One of those players who might feature in uh, that game. Yeah, he was the best player by far for City this year and, and, and look at that almost a full 90 minutes too we're edging ever closer to penalties unless there is some breakthrough in the closing moments Alex Valle plays back into the defence is Andres Cuenca on the left. And into the area, there's the header out. And it is recovered by Ortega. For as many saves as both keepers had to make in the first half, Astralaga and Ortega coming on in the second half have had very little to do. I think that's just a product of the breakup of this game, the way it's evolved with the substitutions. And they may be facing uh, five shots from the penalty spot apiece. But there's no change in the score in the next five minutes. Vega. 
seen that much from Astralaga, truth be told, since he came on. In the uh, 61st minute, to quiet and down in front of goal from Manchester City. One of the catch-22s of being a keeper, trying to work your way up through the ranks and getting your chance in preseason. Of course, you want to keep a clean sheet. You also don't really want to face too well. You want to face shots and you don't. It's a little bit of both. Well, you don't want to be just a spectator as uh, Astralaga dives on top of the ball. You want to be able to prove that you can make certain saves, but that requires, obviously, a defensive assignment lapsing and a shot that forces you into action. I'm sure Astralaga won't be asking his teammates, go on, let the Manchester City players through. Let me face a couple of shots before the end of this one. Even though he probably wouldn't mind seeing that. No way through there for Football Club Barcelona. Trying to make some inroads because of the number seven gear, Fernandez came on for Marc Casado around about 25 minutes ago. Is Ortega. Luca Lewis it's the incursion got Hesty there with him that right footed shot is a wayward one it goes out of play it's out for a goal kick another attempt that uh, doesn't come off so we see some of the Barca players on the sidelines having been subbed off Pablo Torre and Pau Victor maybe the standouts for the Blaugrana in this game Fernandez. Step of that ball lifted into the area. Lewandowski. are holding on to the ball. Possession has been fairly evenly distributed in this game. Especially at the start, Manchester City maybe just had slightly the better of it uh, due to their more experienced players on the, the pitch. And it's been an energetic showing from both sides. Held on to by Alex Valle. It's now on to the right. And Tony Fernandez. It's definitely been energetic, but I think one thing Hansi Flick and his staff will be pleased with is that they'll just have something to, to look at. I'm delightfully pulled down by Tony Fernandez. Left-footed strike uh, to no avail. He's blocked. The, the, they won't go too deep into the well with this footage from this game tonight, but They'll at least have something that they can break down, showcase, show their 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 young players, all right, this is a spot where we need to improve, this is something that I thought we did well, and then have five days to recover before getting back to it against Madrid, where a lot of these players will get their 30 to 45 minute chance yet again. Hansi Flick not happy with the uh of the decision by the referee. We're about to reach uh, the penalty shootout. First of all, we'll have stoppage time. Wright will take the free kick. Four additional minutes to be played. Palmin Phillips with a long tag and all ball. Try to get something going. Offside flag stays down. Through on goal, and Lewandowski can't finish. The defender runs across him and makes the block before he can pull the trigger.
Slide rule pass, Lewandowski. Looks like he just fumbled his second touch. Does force the corner. Back out for Valde. Alex Valle. With Tony Fernandez. Penalties loom. There will be a shootout just for fun, but it's good practice as well for when we get into the knockout stages of competitions. Of course, uh, Barca will be competing in the Champions League again this season. Yeah, and uh, we were talking about. Hold on. Could be a chance here to grab a winner before the end. We're talking about Astralaga not getting a chance to do much. Well, at least he can stand between the sticks and try to dive the right way. Ortega. <laughs> Drunk down by the bus number 10, Tarvik. About to reach full time of the regulation time. Maybe one last chance for Manchester City. Nothing becomes of that ball through. There's Astralaga. Toys with the opposition attacker. He'll get the ball back at his feet. Abalde giving a free run down that left-hand side. Tries for the early cross in. Calvin Phillips blocked ball. They felt that it was a hand ball. And the referee finds differently. It was in very close quarters. You're not likely to have that whistled, especially in this situation. And thankfully, I speak for myself here, but thankfully we don't have to go to any sort of VAR review for anything like that. Not necessary. Valde will take this throw. Will be the last action of the game by the looks of things. Before the penalty shootout. Alex Valle. Opening here for Lewandowski, also had the chance to lay that off to his teammate, but it's a striker's instinct from Lewandowski to go for goal. And with that, we reach full time. This will go to a penalty shootout to decide the winner of this uh, pre-season friendly. Guardiola and Hansi Flick will uh, decide on the takers. And this uh, well, makeshift Barca and Manchester City uh, 22. Very few uh, first team regulars now on the field of play. And it's going to be a penalty shootout here in Orlando. And a chance for the goalkeepers to show their stuff. Yeah, a chance to get out there and, and see what's going on. Ah, look! Pepin Thiago, that's an image right there. Well, the man who gave him his big break. Uh, Pep Guardiola brought up uh, uh, Thiago. Has now announced his uh, retirement as a player and he's joined the master coaching staff. He will be an excellent addition to help out Hansi Flick. Now, can I just take on some uh, uh, liquid and then we'll uh, get these penalties underway. They'll be pleased with their performance today, Barca. So they'll know that they have plenty to work on, and that's par for the course. But I thought they did a lot of things well. 
I thought Pablo Torre was really good in the middle of the park, especially letting the ball flow and sort of dictate the direction of play. That was something that he tried to do a lot of in the last two seasons, and it didn't quite work out the way he wanted it to. I thought today, and again, this is a friendly, so it's just one example, one game. There's a lot more to do this season, a lot of work. But in terms of getting those opportunities, he was good at it. I thought down the, uh, down the left-hand side, and through the middle, Pal Victor was really good. He mostly played through the middle, but he helped out, tracked back defensively, made a couple of runs that were, I would say, 30, 40 yard uh, runs down the, the left that helped obviously setting up the second goal, scoring the first. He was heavily involved. And uh, even for a guy like Lewandowski, there were opportunities to be had just didn't quite take them because it's the first game and those legs are a little crusty, a little rusty. It's going to take some time to get back. Well, we're looking at uh, Pep Guardiola noting down the penalty taker. This could be a, an <laughs> ideal moment to see uh, Hansi Flick's man management. To see. Who wants to take a penalty? That's what he just said. Uh, I'll take it. Ah, look at him. He's, he's just letting whoever wants to do it. I love that. This is great. Because he's not doing that in the Champions League. A rather more relaxed Pep Guardiola than we've seen in previous instances. But again, it would have been nice to see a bit more of Hansi Flick, see what his approach is. That's If I'm a player, if I'm one of the, the, the ten youth players that have maybe never made an appearance for City in, in a, in a non-friendly. If Pep asks me, who wants to take a penalty? Is he playing mind games with me? Do I have to raise my hand? Should I not look scared even if I've never taken one in my life? It's surprising at times the amount of players who maybe will never take a penalty, who you think would, who have a lot of goals to their name, but they're, they're low down the pecking order. of those uh, uh, last season. Well, uh, Robert Lewandowski might be taking a spot kick, you would imagine, for uh, Barca. That would make sense. There's the man. Some of these takers decided upon. see which end they're shooting towards. Who will be kicking first? Love it. Treat it like a knockout style game. Let's go shoulder to shoulder. And make sure that we give these American fans, something that a lot of them want to see, which is a winner. Well, Robert Lewandowski is about to take the first penalty for Barca. Trying to lead by example. We'll be facing down Stefan Ortega. He has that curious penalty taking technique. And he takes a, a direct run up that time around and sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Lewandowski opens the penalty shootout scoring for Barca. Not too much of a pause there from uh, Lewandowski. No pause, no nerves, no problem. Now we get to see what Astralaga is made of. This is another part of this friendly it's just an added element he's up against uh, Calvin Phillips he's playing a new role in defense today Phillips steps up Astralaga tries to put him off and goes the right way Astralaga makes the save it's 1-0 in the penalty shootout Ander Astralaga diving to his right, 
keeping out the penalty from Calvin Phillips. He will take this memory with him into the regular season. His role might not be the number one for the senior squad, but this is invaluable experience. And next up, Dominic who takes the second pass a penalty. I'm following the footsteps of Robert Lewandowski. Sends a call as you like, straight down the middle, or take a saw it late. And Darvik makes it 2-0 uh, for the time being. Second Manchester City penalty on the way. Can Astralaga make it 2 for 2? Goes the right way, makes a second save. It was a nice height for him. And Astralaga with the double stop in the penalty shootout. You see the smiles on the faces of the veterans too. Lewandowski, Orio Romeo, Inigo. They are all thinking, we love it for this kid. And those two saves right there are not easy to read. Barca with the full-on advantage. There's Balde who takes the next penalty kick. Square run up, and pulls over to the right. Goalkeeper gets the right way, but Balde tucks it inside the post. done from Balde. And Astralaga make it three from three. Russo. And we'll have to deny Fate. who came on in the second half. Lines up his spot kick and he becomes the first player to beat Astralaga today. And a slow, languid free kick into the net. will win the shootout. Tony Fernandez is given this responsibility. Sets it up. Take on Ortega. Keeps run down the middle and just passes the ball into the net. Barca have won the shootout against uh, Manchester City. It's a victory for Hansi Flick in his first game in charge. Up next is uh, El Clasico at the weekend. As this makeshift Barca side continue to get prepared for the coming season. 2-2 in normal time. 4-1 in the penalty shootout. Barcelona win against Manchester City.